Hi guys, Colin here and this is another sort of behind the scenes video. Today I want to talk about magnetism and eddy currents because they are very important in considering the design of electric guitar pickups. So this is just going to be a brief overview of some of the cool things to do with magnetism and eddy currents. Um, I'll be doing a bigger video on it at some point in time but this will just give you a little taste. So what I've got here is a neodymium rare earth magnet. These particular ones I use for charging the pole pieces on single coil pickups because they come unmagnetised, so you need to magnetise them with a strong magnet. Uh, so I've got some neodymium rare earths there. Now these are very powerful, powerful magnets. You'll see that when I bring them into contact with something made of steel, that's them, they're stuck, and it takes quite a bit of force to get them back off again. So it's worth remembering that only ferrous metals are magnetic, that's anything with iron in them, so if you've got an iron or steel or anything of that sort of mix, then it's likely going to be magnetic, but things like aluminium and brass are not. So to prove that point, I've got the bottom plate from my pedals, which is an aluminium alloy, and I'm going to show you this. The magnet's going to sit in there, and it's just going to fall right out into my hands, so it's not being held on magnetically to the aluminium casing. However, just because a material isn't ferrous, doesn't contain iron, does not mean it can't be affected by a magnetic field. So now we're going to get an interesting scientific point that's called eddy currents. Something we need to understand before I go any further is that electricity and magnetism are essentially two faces of the one coin. If you've got an electric field permeating in the y direction, then you will have a magnetic field permeating in the x direction. They are part of the same thing and electric currents generate magnetic fields. So say we have a sheet of brass or aluminium, something that's not magnetic, and a strong magnet like my neodymium comes into contact with it. What happens is that the magnetic field from the magnet penetrates into the metal and causes small currents to flow, little circular currents to flow in the metal. So the magnetic field comes in and causes small electric currents to flow in the metal, and those are eddy currents. Now because the eddy currents are an electric current, then their movement generates their own magnetic field, and that magnetic field works in opposition to the magnetic field that created it. So what you find is you have two magnetic fields working against each other and creating sort of a magnetic friction sort of thing. Don't know what I mean? I'll demonstrate it for you, this is really cool. So what I have set up to my desk here is a wooden board that's on an incline and I've also got a brass sheet which I use for cutting out the base plates for my humbuckers. Now brass being an electrical conductor, when a magnetic field comes into the region of it, it's going to generate eddy currents. So what we're going to have is little currents flowing in little circles like that when the magnetic field is in the presence of it. However, our wood does not conduct electricity, so it can't generate current. So if I take my neodymium magnet and place it on the wood and let it go, then what's going to happen is it's going to be dragged down by the force of gravity. And it falls at the rate you'd expect it to. However, if I place a neodymium magnet on the brass sheet, because the eddy currents are created and because the magnetic field is there to oppose the magnetic field of the magnet, Something interesting happens. So remember, this is the speed from the wood. Now watch what happens when I put it on the brass plate. Notice how much slower it falls on the brass sheet than it does on the wood. This isn't because the brass is attracting the magnet magnetically, this is because eddy currents are generating their own magnetic field which opposes the field of this and you get a magnetic friction effect. Magnetic braking it's sometimes called and we can see just how much slower it travels down the brass than it does down the wood. We get the same results if we use aluminium. So there's my aluminium plate there and if I drop the magnet down it Travel slow. So why is this important for guitar pickups? Well if you've got say a humbucker like this one and it's got a brass base plate on it then the magnetic field from the magnet within the pickup will be creating eddy currents in the brass base plate. Now these eddy currents will create their own magnetic field and that will alter the inductance of the coil, essentially changing its tonality. 
So different materials for your bass plate and your covers of your pickups will generate different eddy current effects and therefore change the tonality of the pickup in different ways. By far the most common material for pickup base plates and covers is nickel silver. Although brass isn't unusual or uncommon, um, we just see it slightly less than we do with the nickel silver stuff. So I'm finding it interesting to experiment with different materials for the pickups to see how that area of um, the physics behind pickups affects their overall sound. But essentially the material um, that you're making them out of affects the overall signal um, just due to it changing the inductance of the coils. Science is interesting and guitars are interesting. So there you have it. Uh, there's more to your pickup than just the res DC resistance of the coil, the number of coils and the magnets you put in it. Uh, the base plates, the covers, all those sort of things will add and subtract and alter the sound of the pickup ultimately, um, producing different tones depending on what style of metal you've got and you're using, or if you're not using metal at all. Um, so you could eliminate eddy currents entirely by using a non-conducting material, say nylon or wood or something like that. But would it sound as good? Without the metal doing its common altering effects that we're used to, would it sound even, would it even sound like you'd expect a humbucker to sound? Who knows, maybe worth an experiment. But um, there you go, that's a brief look at eddy currents, magnetism, and the different things you can do with them, um, including slowing the fall of a neodymium magnet. I guess that's all for now. Um, I'll see you guys with another behind the scenes video soon. Uh, take care, uh, remember to subscribe and all that stuff, and um, I'll see you later.